Guess what, folks? You want to talk about an appetizer? I got one for you. Bang Bang Shrimp. Let's get it. Look, this is my flour, right? So this is really like a dump and go. So we'll just get this going. And now we're going to go ahead and just make our milk mixture, right? So we just, again, you got to remember, if you keep everything, you know, together, it makes it so much easier. Okay, so I just temp this. This is up to temp. Now, we've already patted dry. Again, we got wet and dry, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tongs. I'm gonna clean them, but I just wanna show you. I'm gonna use my hands. You know what? It's just better to do that. It'd be much faster too. So we just take them. You can see it's dry. We just go ahead and just put them in like this. So now we'll just go ahead and just drop it in just like this. Now I'm only gonna do a couple right now just to show you, right? So now we'll just take it, move this around. Get them nice and coated. Got it out. We just give it a shake. And we're gonna let it adhere, right? So I just let them and drop them there. I'll shake them again once before I put them in, you know, inside of my grease. A little shake, right? And then we add. Now, look, it doesn't take long. Probably like a minute and a half on each side. I've already started flipping them. You know what I mean? I made one flip already. You guys can see that color, look at that. They're gonna get even a little bit more brown even when you take them out, right? But uh, this is a good temperature, 350. Actually, when I put it in, it was probably about 360. I put those in there and brought it down, right? And then if you adjust your fire, raise it up a little bit, and then it'll come back to right where you need it to be. Take a look at this right here. Look at this color. That's what you're looking for. Now you want to get yourself a bowl, right? You want to get your spatula. You want to put the, what we're doing now is making a bang bang sauce. I should have just said that. All of the rest of the ingredients will go in the inside of here. You know what I mean? But it's really like a dump and go. Now we just whisk it together. Look at the color. Now, you just wanna go ahead and just tumble them. What we're doing is we just like folding them, folding them over. Guess what? Cheers. Listen, I'm finna show you how to make, and listen, I gotta say this, it's simple, we make a deviled egg. What you wanna do is get yourself a plate, line it with some, uh, you know, a napkin or something like that. But you see how I did? What am I using? Paper plates. You know why? Because I am the one, folks, that are doing these dishes. You guys all know how to do this. I know this is like crazy for me to show it. I just take it, hit it a couple of times across that. I usually have the water running, you know what I mean? And uh, we just work with it delicately. Do as I say, not as I do. Why? Because listen, I'm going to be cutting towards my hand and this is a very, very sharp knife, right? So when we get it cut like that, I just take this, this is where we're gonna make our filling, and we pop. Look, this that olive oil based, right? So, this is a heaping tablespoon. I'm just gonna put this in there like that. Uh, that's enough. All right, so I take it, and I just start mashing it up. And look at that right there. That gives you the texture. If you pay attention, let me bring this back around. Look, sweet salad cubes. This is what I put on all of my, my special sauces and everything on burgers, right? We gonna put a little mustard. Don't forget, mustard bites a different, a different way, right? I love mustard, to be honest with you. So just notice I put this in here. It's probably like, uh, that's probably like about a half a teaspoon or something like that, right? Boom, boom, boom. That's it, right? And then we go ahead and incorporate. Last thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with that salt and pepper. Okay, so look, this is how I do it. For the, where are all my bakers at? We all know how to do something as far as uh, like use a piping bag, right? This right here, I'm gonna cut it, but I don't want it to fall out. You guys can go ahead and, you know, like chill it a little bit, but that helps, right? So we'll just start here, just a little bit of pressure, and then notice how I just push it down like that. Real simple, this is a great way to bring your family and get them involved, right?
thumbnail got you here, right? Listen, it's game day. So when you think about game day, we think about appetizers, right? Finger foods, all of that. So listen, I'm gonna show you guys how I did, how easy it is and quick to make sausage balls. Pause. Let's get it. First thing we finna do is we finna go ahead and hit bake because we got a preheat, right? We're gonna go 350 and we start it. Boom. I'm gonna add my sausage, right? So let me pull this little paper off the back. All right, we just dropped that in. This is one pound. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my box of my, you know, my red lobster cheddar mix. And then we're gonna add this to it. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take precaution because I just felt like it was finna snap and we about to have cheddar mix all over the kitchen. Then we just add this whole entire bag. And I'm gonna start this, right? Don't forget, using the mixer, you wanna start small. I mean, start slow. So this is it right here. This is what I wanna see. So I wanna go ahead and run this for maybe about one minute until everything kinda like incorporated together. Okay, so you see that right there? That's what we wanna have, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in some of my cheese. Right? I'll do about half of that. Then I'll start adding the rest, you know, in here. I'm getting ready to add some of my AP. Now that's up to you, the size balls you would like to make. Listen, they kind of like stick together. If we want to make them all this size, we can. You know what I mean? Or you can make them even smaller, you know? So this right here is good. You know what I mean? So I'll just sit it here. Now I'm using this silicone mat right here, but you guys, if you got parchment paper, that works good too. But the main thing is, and I'm not compacting them so much so they be so dense, right? I just want them to all be about the same size. Now you guys can see that I got a tablespoon over here. I was gonna use this, but I kinda like, like the size right there. You see that right there? That's close enough. That right there, get us into the ballpark. Now you just wanna continue these on my oven went off, it's already preheated to the right temp. And now it's time to just finish this up so I'm not gonna bore you. Okay, so look, I had a little bit of overflow. I didn't think I was gonna need like a big one, you know, like a big pan or whatever. So I just got another small, you know, tray, right? This one I'm using parchment paper and this one, like you saw, I got this uh, neoprene or rubber uh, silicone mat. Now, you already know that I'm up to, you know, up to temp. Put this in here like that. What you saw is what I did was I did a little cleaning and I think I gotta do a little bit more, right? Now, close this. I'm gonna go ahead and set myself a timer for 20 or 25 minutes. I'll, I'll probably set it for like about 20 minutes and then take a look at them, right? Now, I want you to pay attention to these decorations that I got out right here. I know that I do this, I do this, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I watch football, like on Sundays and I sit down, whether I'm by myself, I still put this out. This is all part of my presentation and just part of the ambiance of, you know, doing, you know, game day appetizers and, you know, like little meals, right? So I'll see you guys in about, I'll tell you what, I'll see you when they're done. Now that these are out, I'm just gonna sit these here. Now I'll tell you, the cool thing about this is when you get yourself, you know, your little decorations, I don't know, it's something about when my presentation is right, it just make me feel great, you know what I mean? All right, look, nothing left to do, but just go ahead and take one of these. Now I got some cheese right here, right? You guys can dip it in whatever you want to. Uh, I kind of like more like the uh, cheese flavor, you know what I mean? That profile on there does good, so I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it. Ooh, you see that right there? Cheers, y'all. Gotta love it, like it get a little bit crunchy on the outside. Still moist, soft. And then if you like, you know, Italian sauces, you get a lot of flavor from that. Don't forget, I seasoned it a little bit. And then we went with them uh, red lobster cheddar biscuits. There's a whole lot of flavor going on right now. Now check this out. These you can make it ahead of time, right? Just get them, put them in your refrigerator, you know, put some saran wrap over the top of them and let them sit up, right? You want to start these right at the end of the first quarter so you can have some halftime, you know, some appetizers, right? And they best serve while they hot, folks. You know what I mean? So with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below what else would you put in there? I can hear right now, some of y'all gonna say, oh, I'd put some veggies in there. I do the Holy Trinity. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you want a great tasting, you know, sausage meatball, 
this is it right here. Now, with that being said, check this out. If you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and tell the rest of the world out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what? This time I'm gonna say this before I say peace. Hashtag, go Dolphins. Peace.